his suspected mob underlings. More than 100 people were arrested yesterday in the biggest mafia takedown in FBI history. And here now with more on the mob bus is organized crime journalist from 970 The Apple Radio, Frank Morano. It's nice to have you here, Frank. Thank you. Uh, murder, illegal gambling, extortion, heavy indictments, biggest takedown. You name it. They, everything in the kitchen sink is included in this indictment. As you mentioned, this is the biggest indictment of the mafia in the New York, New Jersey area in history. Uh, this was a tri-level investigation. The feds, the state police, the NYPD, and uh, chances are states in Rhode Island and in New England, they were involved in all. It's really a, a, as broad a net as you could cast. The Genovese, the Gambino, the Bonamo, the Lucchese. Seven the, crime families. Seven crime all. families taken down. And the Colombo family, is, are they wiped out? Uh, virtually. The uh, acting boss, the boss was already in jail. The acting boss was indicted. The acting underboss indicted. The acting conciliary indicted. About six capos indicted. But uh, they still don't have the crown in terms of indictments in this case. The most indictments still belong to the Gambino family, who saw its conciliary, Joseph Carrazzo, who was poised to get out of jail in just a few months, re-indicted, only to be sent back. It was unbelievable, because you're watching this happen, and a lot of people, I think, were scratching their heads going, the mob is still around, but they're very much alive, they're very much active. Yeah, you know, uh, the, the Eric Holder made it out as if we are living in the days of Al Capone, and there are bullets flying in the streets yesterday, and the federal government has an interest in propping up the mob and make pointing out that it may be even a bigger threat on ev people's everyday lives than it actually is. Yeah. But but uh, there's no question that when it comes to labor loan racketeering, sharking. loan sharking, illegal gambling, and if you believe many of the things charged in this indictment, drug trafficking, mm -hmm. that the mafia still exists, especially in New York and New Jersey. Well, let's talk about Omerta, the vow of silence. It yeah. seems like that's non-existent in the right. mafia, and it seems like there were a lot of turncoats here. When you join the mafia, you have to get your finger pricked and pledge a code of values, a code of ethics, almost like being a samurai warrior. And one of them is that it's a secret society and that you're in for life. The only way you're out is when you die. But we've seen, and this is in part what's led to this indictment, mobster after mobster not wanting to go to jail and turning state's evidence and ratting on their friends. Are we going to see a change with this latest arrest? Uh, I, you know, I think there are so few people that want these top jobs in the mafia because it's an indictment waiting to happen, which is why you already see fewer and fewer bosses and more and more things like ruling panels instead of bosses. It was kind of laughable, too, and it felt like, you know what, a plot for Godfather 4, if I might say that. I mean, because you got these <laughs> Tony Bagels, Vito Love, the claw, mush, you know, mush, hoodie, Johnny Pizza, the Vinny beard. car wash. Yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, it, it, it was kind of laughable. It, it really is. The nicknames alone, uh, my favorite is Baby Shacks, <laughs> the head of the Rhode Island, uh, the head of the Rhode Island Mafia, who was included in this indictment. I mean, we're laughing at this, but this Mafia takedown was definitely a strong message yeah. by the feds. But the way the feds were celebrating yesterday and the way that people were lining up to pat each other on the back, you'd think the trials were already over. Yeah. Now, I, I would say the vast majority of these, maybe all but four or five, are going to be end up in pleas or people becoming cooperating witnesses. And But I'd say, for those that aren't, let's wait until the trials happen. All right. Frank Moreno, thank you so much for coming in thank here. You. Given your perspective, we appreciate it. And of course, if you want to catch Frank, he's on 970, the Apple Radio. And come back. We want to talk sure more. Sure will. All right, John, throw it back to you. Enjoy that. Thank you.